Hello everybody. No, I'm not Professor Kim, but I've got some great information for those of you that are like me that like to learn and apply um, some of the stuff to make you know that you got to keep exercising because movement is medicine, motion is lotion, and here's why. I've got this out of our local newspaper. I came across this article, it's uh, from February of 23, and it's written based off uh, researcher Bryant Stamford, who is a professor of kinesiology and integrative physiology at Hanover College. So put that in your hat, it's a good source here. Um, anyway, let me uh, read the title to this first. I'm not gonna read the whole article, because as you can see, I, when I read articles, I, I love to learn, but study shows that regular exercise can help prevent combat cancer. Okay, now some of you are saying I've, I've had cancer, or I currently have cancer, or I don't want cancer. So we all need to be listening in on this um, if you don't mind. So if you've been stricken with cancer, um, is regular exercise a good idea? The answer is yes. And exercise appears to be especially effective in battling breast, prostate, and colon cancers, lowering the odds of dying by as much as 40 to 50 percent according to a recent study okay now i know i'm fast forwarding through a lot of this but this is this is really really important um, exercise research shows that exercise reduces these effects and and the overall trauma of treatment and helping to sustain a higher quality of life so i've always knew exercise was um, a great antidepressant okay and you get out in nature it's even better um, and here we go a new factor that supports exercise to lessen the odds of dying of certain cancers has been uncovered by researchers from Edith Cowan University in Perth, Australia. Their research involved men with advanced late stage prostate cancer. So put this, put this in your hat. As a result of an exercise program, the research team found elevated levels of a protein called myokines. Okay, myokines are produced in the skeletal muscle, the muscles you use when exercising, and they help in two ways. One, they can stunt the rate of growth of existing cancer tumors, okay, and two, they fight cancer cells. Did you hear that? They fight cancer cells, helping to prevent new tumors from forming. So not only did participants benefit from the ongoing exercise program, but researchers found benefits from just one bout of exercise. So when participants performed 34 minutes of high intensity exercise on a stationary cycle, there was a substantial boost in myokines that suppressed the growth of prostate cancer cells in vitro. Okay, and that's the test tube analysis of cells removed from the body. Now that I've kind of lost you here um, with, the, with the in vitro, let me just sum it up with their last paragraph. Okay, and this is, this is a big one. The researchers recommend not only high intensity aerobic exercise. Now remember aerobic stuff that gets your heart rate going, okay? That could be bike, it could be um, walking, uh, swimming, rollerblading, anything that gets that heart rate ticking. Okay, the researchers recommend not only high intensity aerobic exercise, but also resistance exercise, okay? That could be body weight, barbells, dumbbells, TRX strap, whatever resistance exercise uh, to grow muscles. The more muscle mass produces, the more myokines, okay? So, what's the moral to the story? Movement is medicine, motion is lotion. That means we need to get out aerobically every day, try to get that 30 minutes in a day, walk, bike, swim, whatever you do, and to get the twice a week minimum of strength training, okay? All right, great article, thanks for listening, and just remember, keep moving.